Israel also plays a role. Over decades, it and Azerbaijan have developed close ties. For Israel, it's part geopolitics and part economic. Azerbaijan is a very important country for Israel because uh, it supplies uh, much of Israel's oil. As a country that has also Jewish community, that they are treating very well, and it is a Muslim country. And we are very much interested in having good relations with Muslim countries. And finally, it borders uh, Iran. And of course, we are interested in looking into Iran. Ironically, the alliance with Azerbaijan also puts Israel on the same side of its adversary, Turkey. Azerbaijan's ambassador, Ilan Suleimanov, confirmed its close relationship to Israel with CBN's George Thomas. Out of the 57 member states of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, Azerbaijan is probably the closest friend of Israel. We have a 2,600 years old Jewish community in Azerbaijan. We have Christians, we have Muslims living together in peace. Azerbaijan is a close friend of Israel. I tell you that uh, Azerbaijan and Israel do not only celebrate their relationship, we're proud of this partnership. The relationship includes Israel selling advanced military equipment to Azerbaijan. When the war broke out, Armenia's ambassador to Israel protested the arms sales to Azerbaijan and left the country. The amount of weapons that we are selling to Azerbaijan is very large. And uh, I can quote uh, President uh, Iliev of Azerbaijan uh, a few years uh, said the uh, sum of Israeli sales to Azerbaijan is $5 billion, uh, which is, of course, a hefty sum for Israel. And it is a useful uh, you know, export market for the Israeli military industries. This reportedly includes sophisticated drones that can be a game changer on the battlefield. We buy on the open market, including from Israel. And we're very grateful to our friends and partners in Israel for being a great partner to us. Now, remember, precision weapons are good in terms of minimizing civilian casualties. They're targeting only and only military targets. Azerbaijan has repeatedly said, we have no intention to harm civilians. Our goal is to fight with the military, not with civilians. Azerbaijan also uses conventional arms bought on the open market from many countries. Armenia says civilian areas have been shelled, forcing many residents to spend the conflict in shelters. Inbar calls the war tragic and hopes to see it end. We have nothing against Armenia. We have no dispute with Armenia. The Armenians have dispute with Azerbaijan. Azerbaijan has a dispute with Armenia. And we would love to see those two countries be able to coexist in that region. No, we have nothing against Armenia. Armenia was, was never an enemy of Israel. But after two failed ceasefires, the fighting rages on with no end in sight.